Okay, everybody. So, how come money will be here again, again this morning? And today we're going to be dealing with your freedom or right to travel because I've been getting a whole lot of people calling me about the freedom or right to travel, uh, emailing me, uh, hitting me up on Facebook and all these different places uh, about the freedom or right to travel. We've been doing this here for years and years and years. But today we're going to deal with it exclusively one more time for everybody who may have missed it. And also, uh, before we get started here, I want to uh, deal with something else because, you know, I told you about uh, becoming a secure party in creditor. And uh, what that means is private banking and accessing your direct treasury account and uh, being able to discharge your debts and the mortgages, student loans, foreclosures, uh, what they call it, uh, uh, um what they call that thing, um, uh, sales, uh, <laughs> I'll think of it in a minute. But anyway, freedom of right to travel. But I want to go over something with you uh, right, right now. And this is a document I use uh, quite often in looking at different things that have happened. And uh, you might want to uh, try to download your copy this right here. It ain't going to cost you nothing. And uh, she'll be still on it. If it's still on the internet now, if it's still there. Okay, but anyway, uh, there's a portion of this I want to uh, run over uh, with you because when we hear uh, people uh, handling large sums of money and all this, and we just think all of this stuff is out of our reach, but that's simply not true. You have the power to do a whole lot of stuff, but you've got to get yourself in the position, get yourself in the financial position in order to do what you want to do. Uh, here it is right here. It says, uh, the jaw-dropping truth about Wall Street. Who's getting rich? The Wall Street firms and their executives, that's who. According to the AFL-CIO in 2009, James Diamond of J.P. Morgan Chase received $9.2 million in compensation. Goldman Sachs' Lord Blank Fine received $9.8 in compensation. Wells Fargo. John Strunk received a jaw-dropping $21.3 million, and Bank of America's Thomas Montag, Montag received a mind-blowing $29.9 million for one year's worth of compensation. Now, here's the kicker. These are all banks that receive money from the government bailout. The list could go on and on. Go back a few more years to 2005. That year, T-Bone Pickens made $1.4 billion, $1.4 billion in compensation in one year. Knocks the wind out of you, doesn't it? Now, don't get me wrong. We don't begrudge someone making a fortune for himself. That's what the American dream is all about. But where does all the money come from to pay those outrageous CEO paychecks? Is it from manufacturing a product that is sold to a consumer? Is it from building a home, saving a life in a hospital, or selling groceries at a store? Nope. It's all from Wall Street, working the system with their supercomputers to profit regardless of whether the market goes up or down. The computers and brokerages houses use lightning fast algor algorithms to buy and sell millions of shares a day. Executing deals within a split second. These deals can all amount to more than 50% 50 50 of trading volume every day. Now, I just want to uh, go over that with you because, see, this is not uh, uh, so far-fetched when you start understanding, clearly understanding how to operate in the private in commerce as a creditor and as a secure party. Um... In order for you to learn how to do that, go to TahagaDateElimination.org. But we're not going to get down in this a little bit more. I've already showed you uh, what it's all about. You can uh, get you a copy of this right here. But I just wanted to go over and introduce you to what we're going to be talking about today. Freedom of right to travel. Okay? So let's deal with it. We're going to show you how to do this thing. First thing we'll have to do, if you've got a driving license, you're going to have to opt out contracts. Okay? Opt out. If you've got a driving license, that's state property. That don't belong to you. Uh, often hear people say, well, you know, um, they suspended my driving license. First of all, <laughs> it's not your driving license. They, didn't, they did not suspend your driving license. That's state property. Uh, when you purchase a car, 
it tells you right down at the bottom of the um, application that this vehicle could be uh, discharged at any time. But once you purchase the car, it's automatically registered to the state. Okay, so you riding around saying, well, I, I don't pay for my car. Yeah, but still stay property. Uh, you got to deal with DMV. You got to get rid of all that. But anyway, let's go in here and get set up and let's deal with this freedom of right to travel. Okay, y'all hold on a minute. Okay, y'all, let's roll. How to remove a vehicle from the state database. It's real simple. Just get a savage certificate for it. Some people run into problems when they try to deregister their car by sending the DMV the license plate and title. The solution is to get the savage title. That removes the car from state databases when you try to register it again a new VIN has to be issued, which means that the savage title removes the car's VIN from state records. Cars that previously had junk titles and were restored to roll-worthy conditions get a new title and VIN after the state inspection. Okay, y'all got that? All right. The new VIN will not match any other VIN numbers on the vehicle. Doors or panels. Year of the vehicle is determined by the title issue date. These are considered to be self-assembled cars. In other words, cars with the salvage title are considered as self-assembled cars, i.e. as personal property. Okay? And then we're talking about private and public. Now, uh, this information here uh, is part of our, our secure party and creditor uh, information when you uh, get with us and stuff just come along with it and I'm not gonna go through all this stuff I'm briefly trying to touch on some things so that we can get back to uh, dealing with your freedom of right to travel okay all right just hold on let me switch right quick okay before I do let's look at this again how to remove a vehicle from state database okay See if you can get a hold of that. If you can't get it, then contact us at uh, uh, TarkaDeadElimination.org. Okay? Okay, here's another document. Common Law Vehicular Ju Judicial Notice Constitutional Driver's License. Okay? Now, uh, I am a Moor, and uh, the Moors do things uh, 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 a little bit different. But what I'm trying to do is give you a generalization because a lot of us have not declared our nationality and it takes a more to teach a more. And uh, until we get there, uh, we still need some relief. Common Law Vehicular Judicial Notice and Constitutional Driver's License. The undersigned Common Law Citizen, whoever you are, hereby certifies by rights secured under provisions of the Constitution of the United States of America, the Constitution of the several states, common law of nature and laws of nature, God that rights are retained in fee simple absolute and held and protected with special re regard to rights designated and are set forth as follows. Also notes, rights and property are one and the same thing by the Honorable Justice Lewis Brandis, U.S. Supreme Court. All right, let's hold it right there for a minute because of some things I want you to understand. First of all, uh, let's use a little bit of common sense. Uh, as a person classified as Negro, Black, and Colored inside the United States, what does the Constitution have to do with you? Think about that for a minute because uh, we're going to add on a little bit of information here to this video. and uh, But we're going to put this here up on uh, YouTube. But uh, over on our other social sites, we're going to put all of the information out so it'll be two separate a video just like we did the last time. Okay? Um, notice an advisory of rights claim inviolate the right to travel freely, unencumbered, unfettered, is guaranteed as a right and not a mere privilege. The right to travel. It's such a basic right, it does not even need to be mentioned, for it is self-evident by common sense that the right to travel is a basic com com 
concomitant of free society to come and go from length and breadth, freely unencumbered and unfettered, distinguishes the characteristics required for a free people to exist in fact. Please see Shapiro v. Thompson, 394 U.S. 618. Further the right to travel by private conveyance for private purposes upon the common way cannot be infringed. No license. Hold on, let me get down here a minute. No license or permission is required for travel when such travel is operating on a license in commerce. The above named common law citizen listed the requirement of a license as such further the uh, uh, city state is forbidden by law from converting a basic right into a privilege and requiring a license and or uh, a fee charge for the exercise of the basic right. Please see Murdoch versus Pennsylvania, 319 U.S.C. 1, uh, U.S. Uh, 105. Okay, I'm not going to read all this once again, but I want you to know that this does exist. Okay? Now, uh, keep in mind, once again, targetedelimination.org. My number is there. Give me a shout. Now, what I want to say to you all at this point is if you have a driver's license, Keep in mind, that state property, that doesn't belong to you. They did not revoke your driver's license. They did not suspend your driver's license. That's state property. That's their property. Now, you had the right to travel all along, but you went down there because you went for the okadoke when they uh, told you, well, you need a, a, a driver's license. Well, a driver's license is only necessary when you're operating in commerce. Okay, if you jump in your Chevrolet and head up to the store to pick up groceries or you drop your mother off to church or picking up the grandchildren or the children from the uh, daycare or nursery uh, in your private conveyance, why would you need a driver's license? You're simply traveling. However, but if you're driving a taxi cab, school bus, handicap van, fire truck, police car, uh, any type of commercial vehicle, you need a driver's license, tractor trailer, and so on and so forth. Okay? Now, if you have a driver's license and you want to begin to exercise your freedom of right to travel, uh, the first thing you got to do is opt out the contracts, give them their property back. You follow me? And we need confirmation from them that you have given them their property back. You've given any, uh, 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 your driver's license and uh, you are not trying to force anybody to do anything. You just need confirmation. You can put in your Supreme Court rules to do uh, uh, what you got to do. Uh, look in the Constitution of your state. Get your information out of there. That plainly tells you what you have a right to do. Okay. And you only want to know if it, uh, from them uh, that you're sending this stuff to is if any of this information is incorrect. Please correct me in writing and please sign it and send it to me. Okay, now this actually happened out there in uh, California to uh, uh, a guy named Charlie Sprinkle. Ronald Reagan, who became president of the United States, was governor of California at the time. You can look it up right there on uh, YouTube or you can look it up on Google. Uh, Charlie Sprinkle versus the state of California. Where they told him he had to get a driving license, so he sent a letter to Ronald Reagan and uh, say, well, hey, man, uh, I think this is incorrect, but Ronald Reagan sent a letter back that he signed saying, well, you've broken the law. <laughs> wow. So he sued him and his wife, Nancy Reagan, and uh, about uh, 14 other people in the courtroom, and uh, they couldn't shake this thing. And uh, Ronald Reagan went to the judge and said, well, look, uh, 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 this is a young guy, he don't know what he's doing. Man, let's throw this thing on out. Judge said, I can't do that, man. He said, I got a document right here with your signature on it. Did you sign this in and send that to that man? He said, yeah. He said, well, if I, if I throw this out, he can sue me too. He said, I can't do that. So finally, uh, they sent the Secret Service to the man's house because they couldn't get, him, get, get the case off. They couldn't, couldn't throw it out. And uh, they said, well, look, if you drop the lawsuit, we'll give you the run of the road. He said, I'll take it under advisement. Now, when they served Ronald Reagan's wife, which is Nancy Reagan, she had a hissy fit. They called her back and out the, back and out the driveway in a limousine and served. The process service served it to her. Boy, she hit the ceiling. Everything shut down in California on that day. 
when that stuff happened. And um, so uh, after the Secret Service left his house, he got in his sports car and blew down the highway driving 90, 95 miles an hour, blowing his horn. State trooper seen him, got him behind him, pulled him over. He said, know what you're doing? He said, yeah, probably about 90, 95 miles an hour. He said, you got a driver's license? He said, no, I don't. He said, what's your name? He said, my name's Charlie Sprinkle. He said, uh, I'll tell you what, Mr. Sprinkle, I'll just stop you to see if, uh, if you need some assistance. He said, no, I think I can handle it for myself. And uh, left me in a cloud of dust, man, went on about his business. But um, positioning is very, very important. Uh, I told you in previous broadcasts that um, uh, everything in America uh, pretty much operates on contract under what's called uh, uh, contract law. And uh, the United States of America Corporation does not interfere with your right to make contract. The problem has been uh, we've been dealing with everybody else's contract instead of creating our own and send it the other way. Okay, let's continue here. Further, the right to travel by private conveyance for private purposes upon the common way cannot be infringed. No license or permission is required for travel when such travel is not for the purpose of commercial profit or gain. On the open highways, operating under license in commerce, the above-named common law citizen listed is not operating in commerce and as such is thereby exempt from the requirement of a license as such. Okay? And uh, I think this is about uh, uh, a citizen at all, and I'm not going to go all the way through the whole thing, but here it is right here in a nutshell. A uh, 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 common law vehicle, judicial notice, and constitutional driver's license. Uh, as a more, uh, I have already done this. Uh, you, uh, photographs out there. I'm up on Facebook showing you how we did it on down here in Jacksonville. And you can do the same thing. Uh, uh, either you can keep on uh, uh, paying for driver's license, going before the court, and, and, and the judge jumping all on you about uh, somebody else's property you got in your possession. Uh, I'm talking about a driver's license, how much you going to pay, and uh, uh, we're going to revoke this, and we're going to do this, and we're going to give you this much time and all this right here, because you got somebody else's contract. Instead of opting out the contract, and go, home, go ahead on and operate uh, in the private under your own conveyance. Okay? Uh, keep in mind to architectelimination.org. Okay? All right. Now hold it. Let's go on, on to the next segment. All right. Affidavit of your name. Okay, this is this is an affidavit. And keep in mind what you want to do, and this is just a template, but what you want to do is you want to create your own contract. You create your own affidavit. But this is just a sample to let you know what I'm talking about because uh, we've already uh, 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 already know that uh, inside the United States, um, uh, uh, United States is a conglomerate of corporations, and the only thing a corporation can do business with is another corporation. So they make you into a corporation by placing you in all caps. Uh, and Black's Law Dictionary tells us that a uh, the definition uh, of a, 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 a all capital letter situation is chattel, property, slave, corpse, or corporation. That is why when you go to the cemetery and you look at the gravestones, it's all in capital letters because everybody out there is a corpse. Okay? All right. Now, let's deal with this affidavit here. Affidavit of your name. Keep in mind this is just a template. The underside true name hereafter affiant does hereby certify and declare the affiant is competent to testify and state the matter set forth here and is willing to testify with first-hand knowledge. All contents herein are true, correct, and complete. In accordance with the finest first-hand personal knowledge, a finest of sound mind and over the age of 21, a fine reserve all rights, a fine knowingly and willingly affirms. A fine is the person making the affidavit. Original lender name hereafter lender is engaged in the business of taking deposits making loans. Now, uh, who is the original lender? You! That, that's who name go there. Your, your name. <laughs> your name go there. We're not going to get all the way down and all this in business, man. Uh, I think y'all pretty much got the gist of what I'm trying to get you to understand. Because when you get state property in the form of driver's license, it's got your name in all caps. <laughs> They're regarding you as corpse too. It ain't enough for you to have their property. Not <laughs> They're treating you as if you are dead uh, because you are not in your proper status in commerce. 
Okay, and to learn more about that, it would be a good idea if you become a secure party in credit. And in order to do that, contact me at TahakaDataElimination.org. This is going to con conclude this short video. Okay, make it too long. Got to keep it short. And I think y'all got the gist. And uh, so I'm going to add on the uh, video, and uh, we're going to post that up on the social sites. But uh, as far as YouTube is concerned, this is going to conclude it, and I'll end this uh, presentation. Peace. Okay, everybody, that concludes our presentation for this evening, and I hope y'all got something out of this uh, uh, driving license thing and freedom of right to travel. And uh, for any further information, you contact me at thehawkandeadelimination.org, and uh, we'll try to help you out, man. And the best thing to do is to become a secure party and creditor. That's the way to go. Get out the private, I mean the public, and get in the private, okay? Get out of the public, get in the private, become a secure party and creditor, and go ahead and start exercising your uh, rights and start dealing with your uh, treasury account, and you have all, all type of funds available for you if you know what you're doing. I had a sister come over here the other day. She brought all her paperwork over here, private banking and all that, and told me about the new building she buying. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I hope y'all got something out of this thing, and uh, until next time, y'all have a good morning. Goodbye.